Uh, good evening and welcome everyone to the October 4th, 2023 Yarmouth Planning Board meeting. I am Joanne Crowley, Chair. Uh, this is to formally advise that as required by Massachusetts General Law, uh, Chapter 30A, Paragraphs 18 to 25 and pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, an act relative to extending certain state of emergency accommodations signed into law on June 16th, 2021, the Yarmouth Planning Board will hold a public meeting on October 4th, 2023 at 5.30 p.m. The public is welcome to attend in person this evening or via alternative public access provided on the, noti on the no notice of meeting available on the town website. I'll begin by taking roll call. Susan Britta. Here. Will Rubenstein. Here. Jim Sabin. Here. Peter Slovak. Here. Ken Smith. Here. And Chair Joanne Crowley present. Seeing we have a quorum present, I'll now call the meeting to order. Uh, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item on our agenda this evening, um, it was in our packet, and Kathy has provided a revised uh, memorandum to the Board of Selectmen, um, dated October 5th. We'd like to send this out tomorrow, Kath, I guess. Um, regarding our recommendations for the special town meeting, zoning bylaw amendments, uh, also included in our packets was the uh, PowerPoint presentation that's been updated to reflect our decisions uh, based on the September 20th meeting. Uh, Kathy, you want to walk us through both of those pretty quickly or um, yeah I, I wasn't planning on going into too much detail um, Joanne and I had kind of coordinated the memo uh, ahead of time it just really goes through just a brief summary I'm assuming that the board knows something about it but they probably haven't seen it in quite some time so giving them an article summary and then also describing the process that we were undertaken Susan had a great suggestion of kind of noticing how many people participated and then how many written comments that we got so at the bottom of the um, the new one uh, with the red line there just indicates an additional in addition to oral comments received the various, at the various public meetings, the planning board received written comments from over 75 individuals slash organizations since the board began this process. Just to kind of give them an idea of how many people are involved. Uh, and then later when we're talking about the listening sessions and kind of summarizing what happened there, I just started that off kind of noting that there was about 45 or 50 people. Not everyone signs in. I know there was a few people that didn't sign in. Attended the listening session with 19 people offering oral comments and 14 individuals or organizations submitting written comments. Just to give them a flavor of how much participation we, uh, we did receive. When we go down and talk about the public comments, I always indicate how many people um, wrote in and provided comments, but it was a good comment to say, well, we've been receiving those all along uh, and kind of noting that. So that's really the only uh, amendments that you see uh, that I left on the dais. Um, the highlighted uh, note uh, line there under public hearing is the planning board fully supports funding the adequate staffing levels needed for enforcement. I think that's something that uh, Susan had mentioned, whether we wanted to have um, an emphasis on that. So we did include that and kind of I kind of highlighted that. Um, the only other thing um, is the item number three there with the Board of Selectmen name changing. Um, so I think we are going to need to um, make some type of modification uh, to the articles because both the articles reference Board of Selectmen. So if the articles pass where they change their name from Board of Selectmen to Select Board, we need to be, sh uh, be sure that that gets reflected in, in our articles. So I think the simplest way to do it is actually just to amend the article as written to change the word selectmen to board of select board and board of selectmen to well, we can write that all out i think that's the easiest way to do it because it might be a little presumptuous to try and put it in the warrant now because we'd basically be assuming that it's passing right. and and we don't know if it's going to pass or not so i'm sure it will i can't imagine that but you never know um and then all the the attachments there the the planning board um recommendation letter i know that jim has some additional information on that that he wanted to offer. Um, and then this, like, like Joanne said, the, the PowerPoint is kind of similar, just kind of being updated to incorporate our recommendations and, and provide some additional information on the, um, the public hearing that was held. Um, and then the article is what you, what you saw before, except for we did change, made some minor grammatical changes to the definition of, of 
public residents, or I'm sorry, primary residents, and that's also reflected in draft 18. So draft 18 shows all in the red lines, all the changes since the majority of people probably saw it back uh, during the listening sessions. And then again, uh, the frequently asked questions, which we will include, um, I'll ask the town moderator if we can have that distributed uh, at the tables uh, along with the warrants. And then also at the end of the packet you have there is what the draft articles that were, they're really Board of Selectmen sponsored articles for the name change. One of them is to change them in all general bylaws and then article, it's article 17 now is to change it in our, um, in our zoning bylaw, which unfortunately requires a formal public hearing. Um, so we have to have an actual formal public hearing at our next meeting just to discuss that, that article change, um, which I don't anticipate a lot of public comment on that. So. Uh, uh, comments. Kathy, there's been no public comment on the name change to date. I've heard nothing, okay. but I, I don't know whether the public is fully aware of it because I only saw it in a staff level draft of the warrant. Okay. Um, so I believe that the this? first time. The petition? No, it's, why, it's why Board of Selectmen doing, sponsored. Is it their preference? Why are they Maybe doing it? More gender neutral, I guess. For God's sakes. Well, political correctness. Right, run uh, run there are many other towns that have done it. Yeah. 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 Whether you believe, whether you support it or not, yeah. it's not. We're not. We're not breaking any ground. Yeah. Right. Uh, depends on how you'd like to see us in the vanguard or not, but. Um, I think yeah. we'd have more important things to do. Any any any, any, any yeah. further comments on the memo or the PowerPoint presentation? Joanne, you're going to. Are you going to go through the entire PowerPoint? Wanted to move the. Um, do that at this level. Move and explain the article. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Madam Chairman. Yes, I have. I have one. I have one. I have one comment I wanted to make, and, and Susan just asked a question. Sorry, Mr. Sabin. Um, I, I noticed, Kathy. You know, I think it's probably springtime or sometime, the board reached a consensus that our memos, our letters, our correspondence to anyone would be from the planning board, um, and not from me. Sure. Uh, and when we talked on Monday, I totally forgot that. Good point. I wasn't looking at the to and from. I apologize. So that's certainly one change I would like to make, if that's okay, um, uh, with the board. Um, and the other, the other comment I had, the public, actual public hearing we had, the room was pretty full. Right. Right. And we actually I don't had two. see a, a number for the public hearing. Or did I miss it? I didn't. I didn't note all the people that were there, but I can certainly yeah, do that. Yeah, I think I just, you, we could make an approximate. I'm looking at the number of chairs uh, here. Yeah, we had, we actually full. had two. We had one last fall, a kickoff one, yeah. and then we had the wrap-up yeah. one. This is the more uh, the more yeah, recent. Uh, and both can, recent and both times there were the room yeah, was, the, was the, fairly the room was, was fairly full. So, I can add in the number of people that were at the formal public hearing. Yes, this is just indicating the people that commented. But there was yeah. more people who just came to listen. Um, I'm just you know moving a. On Susan's comment with regard to numbers, I, th I, I do think, think there was a lot of public input. Yeah. Uh, even if they just sat there and listened. Yeah. So I apologize, Mr. Saban. Yes. Uh, um, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, originally, I was going to say this is all fine, but I didn't want to have to change anything because it was just fine. But now that you're changing stuff, <laughs> <laughs> um, Pandora's box is open. I think um, it might be important, in my opinion, to remind the board and the citizenry that this all started with an over 200 person signature petition. Uh, we mentioned that's a signature that it, I think for a citizen petition, but I mean, we're talking about numbers. We had over 200 people wanted us to do this to start. So I'm fine with just leaving it the way it is, but if you want to add anything to it, it would be that we would start by uh, pointing out also that over 200 people signed this petition. To Other than that, I think it's been well written and have nothing else to add. Thank you. Just trying to see where we would. Where we just stuck <laughs> No, at the top of page, top of page, yeah, two, top of page two, two, where it says the planning, planning board used input from the public hearing for the citizen petition on accessory dwelling units. Maybe that's not the way the sentence would start, but that's where you could incorporate the idea that Mr. Sabin is proposing. Is this the red line uh, version? Two. Yeah, just above. Yeah. I guess it's. Do you have many diverse comments? I think that's the first. I think that's the first reference to it. It is. Unless you want to start at little letter B at the bottom of page one, where it says the planning board has held 27 public meetings since October 2022. That, because the genesis, as Mr. Sabin is pointing out, the genesis of this whole process was the initial citizen petition, and that would be the right place, I would argue, 
You could start off by saying in, re B. in reaction to a citizen petition. Something along those lines. I'm just, I'm, more, I'm just more trying to point out the where in the memo and not so much the what. I'd like to, I'd like to make a suggestion that the redlined sentence just be moved to, uh, and, and then it, if we just move it to the, to the end of that paragraph starting on page two, then you would run from planning board at 27 public meetings, then started with the public hearing, citizens' petition, signed by X number of people. Jim, do we know the, there's a number I know. I know it's over 200. Over 200. I don't, so I don't we know can the exactly. probably has possession of that yeah. petition or the yeah. town clerk does. You know, again, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to, to have us have to do any extra work. I just thought if we're going to start mentioning numbers, I think it's probably important to do that. And I'll, I'll leave it to the chair and the planning uh, officer. <laughs> town planner. Town planner. <laughs> office. Office. Where's my badge? <laughs> to, or or, or, or at the presentation. Well, or at the presentation to to the board of selectmen. I can verbalize yeah. that. Right. That's fine. I can verbalize that. Yeah, leave that this the way even, it is without a easier. number, and then just add it if you have yeah. it. Yeah. And yeah. those have to be Yarmouth citizens, right? Or do they have to be just yeah, Barnstable yeah, County citizens? Registered voters in the town. Registered voters in the town. And I do think that's an important context. Again, regardless of how you feel out there in the, in the in, out there uh, or on November 7th, yeah, you know, this process did start this. that way. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt there. Uh, do you want to do you want to say the process start? You know, after that first sentence there, the planning board held has held 27 meetings since October 22nd to develop amendments to the accessory apartment bylaw and build consensus through public participation and compromise. This process started with a citizen petition signed by over 200 residents, period. Perfect. Works for me. And I, I, I guess I would, um, the town clerk has to certify. Mm -hmm. I think I have that and I can look and see because people may have signed it and they're not really residents and they actually yeah. go through and they certify. Yeah. Um, so that so fun word approximately. Like ballot, they got right. Okay, signed by approximately. One word approximately can also Kathy, be. You'll get the exact number. So that I, we I will see if I have access well, to it. The clerk probably does too. Yes, well, but they're not. Approximately works. Approximately is good too. Don't lose a lot of sleep over it. I just don't know if I have access to it. That's yeah, all, yeah, because I have to do it first thing in the morning yeah. and I don't know whether our I think approximately will be in. I, I, I think, think approximately will be fine. Uh, and I feel the consensus fine. of the yeah. board is the same. Because it couldn't have gotten to the point where it got without those signatures, so you right. can feel pretty confident in that. So did you want the red line to, to, to then be moved that to the end of the, that, that, that first paragraph? Yeah, I think it sits better there okay. in terms of the flow. So we're moving in addition to the oral comments, blah, 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 to the mm -hmm. end of the paragraph that starts the planning board used input. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Any other comments with regard to the memo? You need a motion to accept this? Uh, nope. Uh, any comments on the PowerPoint? Kathy again just inserted language that said the planning board recommended seven to zero. Uh, there were, you know, based on the actions that we actually took. Um, Madam yes. Chair. So this is sort of related to that. I watched the last select board hearing, uh, the the on YouTube, and when they got to this, this they they talked about us um, at the last meeting, and I believe uh, Selectman Forrest said he was. He was. I want to say pleasantly surprised. Were you surprised? I think, I think he was surprised was, it was unanimous. That, was, that it was unanimous, and I just think pleasantly surprised. that is a nice, that's a nice thing, and I don't think it should go unnoticed, and I wanted to say that because I can imagine given his history with the town and given the history with all kinds of committees and commissions that sort of report to the select board that this is not always the case. And um, I think after a year of really hard work, it's nice to get to the point that we're at regardless of whatever the outcome may be on November 7th. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. Uh, so we're good on, on uh, the package, Kath, with those couple of changes. Jim, I'm sorry. Do you have another? Part of the package is the, the recommendation. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. That's this okay. is a housekeeping item. Um, Jim has talked to Kathy, and I, 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 I understand now you're going to be here for a special town meeting. So I went home and um, ex explained to my wife that we would be missing town meeting, and, and she thought that was unacceptable and therefore has changed our plans to go to Italy to leave November 8th instead of November 7th. Wow. So I will be at town meeting. 
and at, as a result, he, as we had discussed at our last meeting, um, he said that he would be willing to um, uh, provide um, the formal uh, uh, recommendation um, and summary uh, at the, on the floor of town meeting for Article One, and I just want to, we just need to have a consensus on that. It doesn't require a vote. Kathy needs to just adjust the note to the town moderator as to who's presenting what, who's doing what on um, special town meeting day. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. I'll wear my Target shirt. <laughs> So again, we can coordinate with the with the presentation that might be given at town meeting for, for that, trying to keep it as short and simple and concise. I'm sure, as I possible. have the complete and 100% support of my fellow board members to bail me out. Should, I mean, the town planner should I need them? So, not concerned. Not the first time at the rodeo. Okay. Uh, next on the uh, um, agenda is the board of selectmen name change. Uh, Kathy, you've sort of run through that. Yeah. Is it just Article 17 we're having the hearing on, or is it both of them? It's just Article 17. Okay. Yep, sorry. That's yeah. all right. And that will be at our next meeting. Correct. I do not. And I, who, I who from the town will be here to answer questions as to why they're doing this? Because <laughs> there's already a couple. I think it's there's me. already been a couple I think it's in our me. preliminary <laughs> discussions. <laughs> I guess it's the explanation that's been included in here. It's just saying it's okay. to be more gender neutral. It's a, it's a board of selectmen sponsored article. Okay. Is it normal, Madam Chair? Excuse me. Is it normal for the group that is uh, putting up the warrant article to come before the board that is discussing yep. the warrant article? Oh, yeah, that's. Just would like to put that out into the internet. Um, is it fair to? invite a member of the board that is proposing this article to please come before us in front of the, on the public and hearing explain yourself <laughs> I mean that would be that is completely within our I think reasonable request do we do we yes it is, it is but do we want to spend the time doing that I, I don't know could, could we have just like a could we just have a quick meeting next week do we want to give this do we want to do we want to dignify this with with a witness is basically what i'm saying i don't, yes. don't want to prolong this discussion but but having once sat on a tuesday night there are a lot of privileges that the board has including naming rights i mean i prodded them to stop calling smugglers beach by two names because they have the authority to name it so they have officially named it smugglers beach I would think they have the ability to officially name themselves. But if they want us to go to town meeting and fight about it, then okay. It doesn't make sense to me. Just do what you want to do. It's not a big deal. Well. Uh, we'll find out next yeah. Tuesday, or next Wednesday, won't we? Do you want me to offer some invitation to the town administrator? Do you officially a request from the planning board? Because I would... I would ask that the town planner send to the either the town administrator or the chair of the board who do they intend to have present their article at the hearing I'll say the planning board is asking who well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> another opportunity you have another opportunity and I see what you did there because that connects back to madam chair's earlier comment about it's all of us, not one yeah, of us. It, exactly. But, it but we are going to have an opportunity on October 10th to be at the select board meeting, and maybe that would be the right opportunity to say, hey, who's showing? I would ask it like this. So who's showing up on the 18th? <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, it is totally a reasonable thing to ask because the reverse would clearly be true if the reverse were the case. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why don't we, or if it was the Conservation why don't we do Commission it informally or anything. At the, at the meeting <clears throat> uh, next week. And then it's more casual. We're going to take our time to hear that. At least they should give us right. their time. It's more casual that way, Madam Chair. Just a courtesy. Yeah. Right. I mean, we might have had October 18th off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can, can I? Literally. What are, what, I actually what thought are, that what, is what that? was going to be the case. Not a Wednesday meeting. Wow. Can, can, anyway. can I ask who is going to be at the meeting on October 10th? I just want to know if I should post it or not. Not an issue, but if I post it and you're not there, I still have to do notes. Um, Versus just kind of informing well, you. I have it. to be there. I tend to be there. I don't. Susan and Joanne. I will not be there. I'm sorry, I will not be there, Madam okay. Chair. Nor will I. No. Uh, no. It's a, week, it's a week from tonight. I, I, yeah. I think I can. I just Tuesday. Wanna, it's a week. It's yeah. Tuesday. Check your right. other calendar before you commit to that. 
You know which one I'm thinking about. Yeah. Yeah. The answer is you're not going to be there. Um, it might be interesting. He knows what I mean. <laughs> game three. It's a sporting <laughs> event, I know. Uh, like game three, Jim. <clears throat> I would just say, Jim, I don't. Yeah, I just looked. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I won't. There's yeah. also two. You will or will not? You I will. really will not. Okay, okay. Well, and then you, I, I will be participating remotely, or is that does that also count? Yeah, I mean, if you're going to. But I guess the point is, right. is. Commit to that right this moment? No. Okay, no. then so I'm going to say. still no. be only three of us, which is not a yep. quorum. Yep. Which, so but, don't post the it, meeting. But it is critical mass. Okay, good. We then do create critical mass. Being there virtually because then it becomes a quorum. And then it's Kevin's fine. I have no problem doing it. I just don't want to do it if then you got no one. To, you know, we have two people or three people. So let's do minutes. Right. Don't do it. The the only comment I would have for Jim is um, there are two articles for the Riverwalk Park. I don't know whether you care about. I don't think it matters. They're not they're not large, but and I can certainly answer questions. I just asked that they put it on the same night because you and I might, I would be there. Safe delay works. Okay. If you have to post them, in, yeah, I really would like to be here for those. I didn't realize that. Yeah. I, I don't know whether. important, and I'll be able to watch. They're very simple, I, and we can talk about it some more. I mean, the, the park grant, yep. which is ba basic, and then the, um, the Eversource easement, which is basic. Right. Um, and I think, based on discussions with town council and others, that we don't need to have a formal article um, for things like when we accept plank money and that type of thing to go to maintenance, it can be seen as a, it can be done a different way than a, than a town meeting article. So that's that would have been the bigger one, and I don't think it's going to be on there. Madam Chair, may I ask a question? Yeah, so, certainly. as the last select board meeting, they didn't have the warrant. They said they indicated the town administrator indicated he was going to send the warrant to the select board, but it hasn't been produced. So, were Article 16. Sorry, we're, we're, what number we are? Do we know what number we are? I think we're 20 and 21 now. Right. So are we at the? Is that we're the, the end, end? End. That's the very end. What, what cliche can I insert here, please, about saving the best? <laughs> I mean, I assume that that lit, that ordering is at the pleasure of the select board. G zoning, for some reasons, always seems to be at the end, unless you have a petitioned article, and there at the end. Yet, yeah, isn't it interesting? And, and going back to Ms. Britta's earlier comments, which are very well taken, this is probably the one article of all 22 that had the most public participation, and yet it will be the one that will be at the end of the meeting. There's a reason for that. Please, to keep you there. Mm. If they have the controversial stuff up front. Think about it. Every time we need to go to a controversial item up front, once the vote is done, Believe. half the town hall gets up and walk a town. I get that, except and that, and then, but they then try to hold those to keep you there. Right, and you know how you know how much people appreciate being held. Um, so it also creates a little bit of a different atmosphere, mm -hmm. I would argue, than it would if it was the first. Um, but I do understand where you're coming from, Mr. Saban. It's always a challenge to get people to town meeting. It's probably the biggest challenge that the, any moderator will ever have. Mm -hmm. I guess the attractiveness of the new school auditorium is not enough. I'm hoping that Ooh, that it could is be. A 900 it will people. be a slight. I do think there's going to be some feature. Yeah. yeah, we could get 900 people in there. Uh, but <laughs> okay. that'd be nice. Uh, any anything else on our correspondence with regard to the board of selectmen uh, in our meeting next Tuesday on the 10th? Uh, so we can move to meeting minutes of September 20th. I have a motion. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of the September 20th, 2023 planning board meeting. Second. Any discussion? They're excellent. Leather. Yet again. Yeah. Um, who seconded it, Peter? Uh, P Peter. Yeah. Make sure it was there. Uh, uh, Mr. Sabin? Aye. Uh, Ms. Britta? Aye. Mr. Rubenstein? Aye. Mr. Slovak? Aye. Mr. Smith? Aye. Chair as well? Aye. Uh, committee updates? Any committee meetings for folks? Mm -hmm. I attended one today for the um, Community Preservation Committee, the mm -hmm. opening uh, discussion for CPA grant awards. We have eight proposals that have come in. Uh, we had preliminary review today of them, uh, and we meet. Um, every Wednesday for the next month to um, have the presentations they come in they present um, we have proposals from the town with regard to town ways to water evaluating where they are there's some confusion as to where they are um, some seem to have disappeared 
or there's some confusion uh, about fences and keep out. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there are others uh, where uh, there's some um, issues with regard to um, um, uh, deeds and the like. So uh, there's a proposal in to do a, uh, a reconnaissance, if you will, of all of the town ways to water and their relative uh, state of uh, condition of repair. So that's one of them. Bass, um, the Friends of Bass River um, have proposed a new um, item for what was the Run Pond restoration um, what, that has to be 15 years ago. That went to defeat at town meeting. With the, Run Pond is down by Bass River. I, I think everyone knows. It's also called Kroll's Pond, yeah. hmm. which is, I guess, technically the name of it. Kroll's Sounds Pond. Sounds like a naming opportunity, Madam Chair. Excuse yeah. me to get back to Mr. <laughs> Stevens' earlier comment. Um, and so, the Friends of Bass River have have made a proposal um, to start to begin the evaluation of flow, not unlike what they're doing up um, on. Uh, North Main Street uh, with the Upper Bass River culvert. The culvert there under South Street is um, um, in, in, in a difficult, um, in difficult condition. And the pipe runs the full length of the Bass River, excuse me, Smuggler's Beach uh, parking lot. And the outflow is right near the ramp. Uh, so there's uh, a proposal in for that. We have the standard affordable housing trust uh, request for funds. We've got a request from um, several nonprofits, one to evaluate the possibility of a swimming pool for the town. Um, an individual has moved forward on putting together a nonprofit to um, secure initial review of um, who's interested in it, how would we do it, and the like. It's an outdoor swimming pool? Excuse me? Is that an outdoor swimming pool yes. or an indoor? I believe outdoor. it's an outdoor swimming pool, yes. Um, there was also uh, a request for um, a housing development, I'll call it a congregate housing, uh, where the developer, also a 5013C, uh, would uh, purchase a home and then, not unlike what the Cape and Islands Veterans Outreach did in Dennis, purchase a home and have four, five, six rooms for veterans or, or um, economically disadvantaged uh, folks to rent. Uh, that's another one. Um, what am I missing, Kath? Uh, Sorry, I don't you, you, know. You didn't watch the whole meeting? <laughs> did not. I did not. Oh, that's the, the kind of the uh, flyover. Uh, there's, uh, there are some interesting ones. So, um, uh, oh, and the, oh, the other one is um, the two parks on 28 in West Yarmouth, um, Chase Brook, and I'm not going to remember the name of the Little other Creek. one. Creek. And then the middle one where Yankee, the Yankee right. Motel was. Right. Uh, there's a request in to um, r r modify how the funding of the two existing parks and Yankee, the Yankee Village, I'll call it, um, because there's a plan to obviously improve that whole area. Right. So that request we're going to look at as well. So that was today. So um, we, we were scheduled up to meet with everybody over the next month. That's CPA. And a lot of those, Madam Chair, at least the, certainly the first two are connected to the open space and rec plan too. Yeah. It's nice to see the Run Pond project come back. It was something that when I was on the board, I think it got defeated when I was on the board. And the whole issue is the size of that pipe doesn't provide that. And so we had talked about it 20 years ago. So nice to see that it gets brought back. But didn't, at the time, wasn't there federal fund? I mean, they were ready to go with an application for federal funding. And it was a, like, let's do it. But it was the matching funds the town said, town meeting said no. Absolutely. I think. I, I think it, is that. that how it went? I was managing the hotel across the street from it at the time. <laughs> so you're absolutely 100% correct with your memory. Very good. The townspeople have been very willing to turn down federal funding uh, for projects that would make their lives much easier. Mm. Many yet times. The rail, yet the rail trail somehow exists with federal funding. Look at all the funding we could have had for sewering through the years. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the other thing. The pipe is going to go right over that culvert. Soon, right. Right. so that's going to be another. That will okay. be another. Um, anyway, uh, that's all I have. So that's committee. Kathy, any uh, other board member items, or uh, not you, Kathy, but any other board member items? Yeah, yes. Sure. I had two quick follow-up questions. One is, has there been any progress on the Forest Road parcel? You know, there was the the. What I mean to say is, the parcel next to the senior center. 
I know there was a conversation at the select board meeting, I think, of two or three meetings ago. Or am I wrong on that? No, you're not wrong. I wanted to know if anything has inched its way. Not that I have been made aware of. I know that the Board of Selectmen are very concerned about water quality and, and how that um, particular development might have, it, have an issue. There is a well near there that's not uh, ideal, so I think it's all plays, plays a role. I'd and like to think that the town can't work with the housing authority to find another parcel somewhere or do some, I mean, the sad thing is the Yarmouth Housing Authority has not created a single housing unit since the 60s. We argued about it with them 20 years ago, and they still haven't created a housing unit. So you would think somebody would get together and try to figure out if Forest Road location is inadequate or unacceptable, can we cut a deal somewhere else? But it doesn't seem to happen. How about Madikees? <laughs> you got plenty no, of land my, my, there. My, uh, two other <laughs> quick follow-ups was, sure, has there yeah. been any progress on the Madikees Reuse Committee that you know of, Kathy? Um, no, I think they are doing some initial looking more detail of the condition of the building before they kind of, if the building isn't acceptable for reuse, then that is a totally different analysis, right. so to speak, than if you're going to be trying to have different uses within that building. So I think so they're we're at six. We're at six months since occupancy, you know, of the new school. And it, by by extension, you know, coming up on 12 months, really, because there was a lot of things that had to get finished, you know, to get into the kids into the new school, and we thought it was going to be after, you know, the winter break, and it got delayed. So just all of a sudden, sometimes you wake up, and it's been a year, 10 months, yeah. and um, I would like to offer that I would, it would be wonderful to see some more urgency around that, because that is a prime parcel with many possibilities. Were, it, Ms. Britta, were we, wasn't the planning board supposed to have a member on that? Reuse committee? Didn't we ask no. formally? Or no, didn't we discuss it? I don't even think they decided it? who should be on it yet. Well, then who's who's I mean, doing all of this? Of it, be a, is this just town staff then that's doing the evaluation? Well, for now, yeah. I think it's it's just Scott. we've hired an yeah. Okay, I'm so still hired no, like, a committee. No, no, no. There is no the committee doesn't exist, but the intention, the uh, committee to reelect the committee, if you will. Yeah. Uh, Creep. <laughs> you said it. Uh, <laughs> There is an intention to do it, and Mr. Scott, I believe, is yeah, okay. in charge I of it, which, is, which gives me hope. That's what was my understanding. Using the framework of what the DISEC, the Drive-In Site Utilization Committee, did in the development of the drive-in site through public hearing and through feasibility, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So it was my understanding that, that was what they were going to create, but that was discussion months and months and months ago. Yeah. I do think it's important to do the initial analysis so that there's information available for the committee when they meet to work from. I get that. Yeah. I get that. And then the last, last thing, Madam Chair, was, has there been any more movement on the, the parcel on Route 28, the proposed 40B parcel at the old laundromat? I've heard nothing on that either. Okay, because remember, it's, the, as they do, these, these things sort of come out of the water, and they make a big splash, and then sometimes the whale stays under after that. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, correspondence or any other staff? Uh, uh, Mr. Sabin. I, I just, if I can take this opportunity, um, it seems like not just the planning board, but boards in general, we always rush to town meeting. And we probably already have a game plan for the next six months as things that we want to achieve and, and how the chair wants to move forward with those. But um, might it be helpful if we can have a general, you know, what are we trying to get done for next town meeting? and next town meeting so that we're not going crazy trying to yeah, fill a 100 a, hearings. A very good point. I mean, some I of there are certain things we need to do. Yeah. Our agenda is driven by two things. One, regulatory. We don't control that, really. Um, uh, but the other part of it is one where we need to, you know, set our annual goals as to what we see out there as areas that we want to um, uh, focus on in the coming year. I think that's a very good suggestion, Jim. And um, I can work with Kathy. She, we've got the long, we've got the local comprehensive plan. The RFP is out. Um, we've got a bunch of things that are in the hopper that we all probably need to just be brought up to date on. Um, and hotel, also, which I did ask about a couple weeks yeah, ago, yeah. We, we 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 can we can check in on that as well. Although that hasn't been much of an issue, and I don't think we need to revisit that every single year, but. Um, the chamber has been relatively silent okay. on it, but 
Um, that could be one of the items we put up there as a checklist of things. Hey, do we want to keep focusing on this or not? Um, and, you know, working with Kathy, we can put together some items for um, consideration longer term. I think that's a, that's a good suggestion. And LCP is still out there. Yeah, the proposal's yeah, out yeah. there. It's on. Sorry, that's the Kathy, biggest I didn't one. mean to say the three letters, but I did. No, no I mean, yeah. it's the number one goal, again, of the Board of Selectmen. Um, we have more than initiated our efforts. We're probably literally 50% done. I don't think people necessarily realize that because the local comprehensive plan, um, the big components obviously are the visioning, which we have completed. It's the open space and rec plan that talks about all of our natural systems. So that's well, pending comments. very, very close yeah. to being done. Um, the housing production plan is other, another major component as well as coming up with capital improvement program for your infrastructure, which Bill Scott's doing an excellent job right. on that. And then obviously climate resiliency. Um, we just recently completed a, an analysis of the vulnerability of all of our, bless you. Of, of our me. municipal facilities and critical facilities, which will be play a significant role um, in the in the local comprehensive plan. So we have a lot of pieces. I think the one big piece that's kind of um, missing is that economic development piece. And I think there are two studies that Bill Scott has been working on and, and looking to get funding for. Uh, one of them for that marketing study through through CEDC um, to, to identify you know what types of businesses do we want to draw to Yarmouth and how can we help draw them to them and also that planning grant to really look at um, what can we do all along Route 28 what does our village center overlay district zoning looks like what amendments do we need to do that how do we promote that mixed use that we want there we constantly are hearing from people that that oh no it's much easier to just do residential and it's not mm -mm. it's much yeah and it's much more difficult to do mixed use so how can we help people how can we make that a more palatable and desirable option how do we uh, incentivize that in some way so that's another com another component but I think um, hopefully we have funding for those for those two studies and they can be kind of moving concurrently and get incorporated into the local comprehensive plan so lots of good stuff yeah um, I, I I I do I. I, I think it would be important for members to identify um, some areas where they might like um, some uh, review. Uh, but again, we need to keep in mind that we are appointed volunteers and we have only one town planner. Um, and so that the level of interest and work that is associated with any of um, our ideas um, needs to be really vetted through uh, Kathy and, and the town, um, because our primary role is regulatory um, in, 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 in many ways. Long-term um, planning. And, and long-term planning. Yeah, and long-term planning. And with the, I think our involvement with the local comprehensive plan and all of that, um, once the consultant is retained, we can jump in on that, I think, in a very detailed way and stay on top of that. And not just have that be something that is produced for us. Mm -hmm. I would like it to be produced by us um, in you, some ways. Well, a lot of those components, as Kathy outlined, are, were literally. And we've we participated in sure. those. Um, sure. Open Space and Rec, the Housing Production yeah. Plan. Vision I think we've made, a, a, um, our contributions have already been made um, and in some ways cemented into the foundation that's out there. Um, so getting that done, I, I would think, should be, if it's the number one goal of the Board of Selectmen, it certainly should be ours. Um, and that's a fair amount, that's a, fair, that's a fairly good chunk of the agenda, I think, um, once the consultant is, is on board. So, um, and uh, with that, anything else from board members on board member items or Kathy correspondence? Anything you had um, you wanted us to cover? Yep. I, I think the, um, just to give you guys an update, I believe the October 26th um, ZBA agenda um, will include the J Mart Road project that was approved and sent over. Uh, and I believe it will also involve a seasonal employee housing request for the town and country. Huh. Um, so. Madam Chair. Yes, Mr. Sabin. I, I, I remiss. I apologize. Um, I wanted to report that Kathy did an amazing job with the Cape Cod Commission in presenting the drive-in site uh, to them for their approval and the DRI. Uh, the comments from members of the commission were glowing of the work that Kathy and our um, consultants have done. And um, 
They passed it unanimously, and we're one oh, step great. further towards development, and I want to publicly thank Kathy for all the hard work that they've done to this date. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sabin. Here, here. And Madam That's Chair, great. speaking of the Cape Cod Commission, that just completely uh, set my mind on fire, which is also the ZBA, which is about the cell phone tower. That yeah. I know we had some email correspondence from you, Kathy. Yep. They did not submit they did not, they, a, um, an appeal. Right. They did not submit an appeal. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. um, what they may end up doing, I mean, they didn't submit appeal, an appeal on the decision related to the clock tower style. That doesn't mean that they can't resubmit for sure. the whole for right. regular. For the regular tower, right. Because yeah. reading the decision and the, and the discussion of the decision was fascinating reading. I wonder, I don't know if it was fascinating television, but it was fascinating reading. Um, and I want to, it's another opportunity to say thank you to Kathy. And we also weighed in pretty heavily. Oh, well. yeah, we, we wrote, did. And we Madam wrote, Chair, we did. Especially Several letters. Yes, yep. and yeah. Madam Chair's participation as well, in person and otherwise. Yeah. No, that was a big one for us. That was a big one for us. We'll see what happens. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay, may I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Uh, any discussion? No. <laughs> Susan Britta. Aye. Will Rubenstein. Aye. Peter Slovak. Aye. Jim, Jim Saban. Aye. Ken Smith. Aye. Your chair. Aye. Thank you, guys. Thank you.